All right, guys, so this is a blooper here. We just hit a thousand subscribers. I told you guys I'd make a video showing my vintage collection if we had a thousand subscribers and we did it. So thank you guys for that. That's totally awesome. Um, I only said that because I didn't really want to make this video. <laughs> I didn't want to have to go through and actually record this. So bear with me. Uh, but like I said, I'm a man of my word. So I guess I'm gonna show you guys my vintage collection. All right, I don't really know the best way to do this. I was hoping it wouldn't glare too much. So so this is the first thing I was gonna show you guys. This isn't the oldest thing I have. It's just one of the older things I have. And this is actually really cool because it's from when a friend in high school, he transferred from Japan and he wasn't into Pokemon. He was like, hey, I got this thing from Japan. And he was like, Pokemon, do you want it? And I was like, yeah, I'll take anything Pokemon. I know some of you may have seen these before. This is really cool, but I never took it apart and kept it all together. <laughs> But it has all the starters and the evolutions. I thought that was really neat. Japanese, like I don't, obviously I don't speak Japanese or know it. But uh, yeah, I just thought it was cool, you know. And uh, you can even see on the back right here, it says it's from, let's see if I can focus. Yep, right there, 1999. So yeah, it's pretty old. And then I want to show you guys this thing. This thing's pretty cool. This is, um, I don't know what this is. Obviously it's not a card, but like it shows you white version, but then if you turn it, it's a black version. So I thought that was really neat. And I just saw that when I was like going through and getting my stuff. Like I have more stuff that isn't just Pokemon cards. I have a lot of old Pokemon stuff in general. And maybe I'll go through that at some point. But for now, this is the video is just about my card collection. Um, this is really neat, this binder. I've had this binder since I was a kid. Um, this is where all the cards went in. This is a cool poster. I don't remember where I got the poster from. I know it folds out, I guess, okay. So see, I, I, did, I played in a Pokemon League in 1999 um this is what you got this is the tournament this is all the rules so that was always really cool and yes i did earn all the badges you could i just didn't get to play like in the finals or anything but it's just it, it's kind of weird how things uh how the point system worked but yeah that was like old old red and blue days and i have the badges somewhere and i can i'll, I'll eventually pull out my uh, pull everything out when i find it a lot of it's in my storage unit this is just something I knew I could access pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's see what's in this binder. All right. Ugh. Well, first we'll start, we'll start over here. Let's, let's see what's in here. This is a, uh, a breakthrough, XY breakthrough three card pack from the dollar store. Um, I'm not gonna, the cards are still in it too. I don't know what the cards are. I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Uh, this is a, literally just, this is how we used to do it. This is old school right here before you know. We had like all the free checklists on the internet. Like I, print, I remember printing this off as a kid. This is just base set, uh, all the cards in base set, and then I have them checked off what I had because I was trying to collect the whole set. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to, so whatever, it's fine. Ugh, I'll just leave that there for now. It's not too big deal. But as you see, I've got my, I got Blastoise, Charizard, Clefairy Hollow, Gyarados, Hitmachamp, Machamp, you know. My time, you two, Polly Rath. Really cool story about uh, Blastoise and Charizard, and then also Venusaur. I got all the three of those cards on the same day from three different booster packs, and it was also on my birthday, so it was kind of like a crazy ride on that one. But that was a really cool experience. But yeah, uh, I don't have the complete base set collection. You'll see if you pay attention because like, they're all in the or numeric order like they're supposed to be. Um, it's just there's no gaps and the cards are missing because I didn't have enough space like this binder on the only could put so many sheets in it and uh, I was a kid with no money so I had to make do with what I had so but yeah you can see I don't think I have any real first editions in my collection I do have the two so this was kind of I didn't know anything about, as a kid about like shadowless you know this and I, I just saw these these two cards were different colors right like you can see the different colors of green so I collected both of them one of each and then put them in there. I didn't know I didn't know there was a whole thing with the whole shadowless thing. As a kid I just I had no idea that the shadowless was a was more sought after or better or what. I just I didn't even know I didn't even realize that there were shadows on some of the borders and shadow and you know not shadows on some of the borders. So that was really cool to find out. I found that recently actually um, when I started collecting cards again. Uh, I wanna say I had a yellow cheeks Pikachu also, but I don't know where it is. So I had one of each, but uh, it's been so long. Most, if any cards didn't make it to the binder, pretty much got given away or destroyed or something at some point. But yeah, now this is this is all just the 
base set cards. I, the, and I, everything I collected was from packs. I, I didn't really trade with anybody. I was just constantly just trying to get my my setup. So yeah, I've got, these are just, and these cards, they haven't seen light for like 20 years. So yeah, good times. This is, so, I, so then it bleeds into base set too. So yeah, and I, I, was, I didn't, I don't, I don't, ugh. I did not collect as much base set two as one, obviously, because, uh, well, majority, major reason, just no money being a kid at the time. So, yeah. And then this is like literally just sat in a box. This binder just sat in a box for, I don't know how long. But, yeah. Let's see. Let's see what else I got. You probably see most of these cards. These are my personal collection right here. So just, we're still all what base set two still, yeah. And I got all the energies, and then we go into jungle. We start hitting jungle cards. Yeah. Oh man, this is bringing back so many memories. Oh, there's no cards there. Ah. And then we come over here, and so this one I guess I left holes in because I guess I, was, I thought maybe I'd get more jungle cards. Because very much once, once the card made it to the sleeve in, in this binder, it stayed. It, it didn't go anywhere else. So these are like really, I don't know, as good of a condition they can be in for just sitting in a binder for 20 years. Um, so this is all just, we're still in jungle. Yeah. I'm gonna go a little faster just so we can get through this a little bit quicker and just get to the, the cool stuff. Or stuff that I think is cool. I think base that one's pretty cool, but. It gets, I, I feel like it gets cooler, and then I guess I put off the holes in the junk in the the gym ones. Oh look, I have a first edition right there. First edition Brock, cool. Didn't even know I had that. Yeah, oh, I got a, I got his first edition Onyx too. That's nice. So I guess I got some first edition cards of some of them. That's interesting. I really don't remember that. But yeah. And if you guys need to, you know, just pause the video if you want to look at any of the cards that I'm showing you guys. But this is a... Hmm. I think in this binder too, I'm pretty sure. I haven't looked at it in a while. But I have um, Japanese cards too. I was collecting anything Pokemon. I did not care what language it was in. That's one of my favorite cards there. Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu. That's such a cool card. I miss, oh God, I miss these cards and the artwork they had. Yeah, here we go. And I think that's it for that page. This is the trainers from the gym. Missed, yeah, yep. And then we got last bit trainers. Man, I got a lot more first editions than I realized. That's pretty cool. That's really neat. Well, neat to me, I don't know. This one, this page only has just my muck. I guess we're in the fossil now. Yep, there's an Aerodactyl. That was it for that page. Jeez. So I, I guess I, I guess uh, I only crunched down the first set because I guess I couldn't find them anymore. But these sets I could still find at the time. So I guess I was trying to see if I could fill out the binder. I mean, like I said, limited resource and being a child. Pretty much all these cards were gifts or like presents. Or, you know, begged mom and dad for a pack here and there. Let's see. Let's see if we got anything good. Ooh. The Dark Charizard. Ooh. Got one of the else page. Rocket Sneak Attack. That's actually kind of cool. It's a hollow. That's interesting. Uh, I haven't looked at some of these cards in forever. Oh, my goodness. That Dark Charizard. Oof. I love that Dark Charizard. That Jolteon is actually pretty cool, too. Dark Jolteon. Let's see. Ooh. I remember my cousin got this card out of um, it's in the Power Magazine. I was super jealous when we were kids. I wanted it so bad. He wouldn't trade it to me. He wouldn't trade it to me. Yeah. Whatever. I have one now anyway, so whatever. Oh, yeah. I never really cared for that Charmander. I thought that one looked kind of doofy. Not a fan. All right. Let's see what else we got. Man. 
This is my childhood right here, guys. This is my childhood. This is this is why I made the Pokemon channel. This is why I made the channel. I'm just a huge fan of Pokemon. Oh, this page is empty. Okay. Oh, what? Well, it's not. Gramble. Nice. All right. Cool. All right. What else we got? We got uh, Quilava. There we go. We got Chikorita. So what are we in here? I don't know what this. I don't know what this set is. Off the top of my head, I don't remember. Oh my goodness. Man, I got a lot more first edition cards than I realized. Open on that page. I got what, one thing on this page. Or two. A trainer. I need to... Be, oh, here we go. We're about to get to the good page. The page that I really like. This one. This is like the promo page. So I think next, the next thing we'll see is probably like um, Japanese cards. But yeah, this is the, that's from the, isn't that from like the first movie or something? I don't remember when I got that one, but I have more than one because anytime we got promo cards, my sisters, I pretty much just took them from. Uh, I've got a couple of these uh, these bad boys, so you can see kind of see them in there. I, I, I had a real bad problem with stacking cards um, on top of each other. That one's really cool. Pokemon Rocks America. That's a cool looking card. Yeah. So I guess that's where the promo is in. This is, what, this is a Blackstar promo. And then we go into whatever. What are these cards? I don't know. I don't know why they're on this page. Maybe it's in the other set? Yeah, it must be another set. And I kept the back of the ancient, the ancient Mew cards. I don't even know what set holds the back of the Clinks. I don't know. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Japanese. I don't even know. I don't remember buying Japanese cards, to be honest. But I knew I had them. Yeah. These things are old, old, old. There we go. We got. That's a cool Persian. Some of these cards, it's just. Interesting seeing the Japanese text on these cards when you know we've already seen these cards. Oh, there's there's the special uh, band Misty card. Yep, if you don't know about that one. Oh, and then we're back in English. Wait, what happened? We went from Japanese and we hit back into English. What set is this? I don't know what set this is. Oh well, pretty much it was. Isn't that just jungle? Did I, did I do jungle twice? Or is this just like random cards? I don't know. Maybe these needed to be sorted and I just never got to sorting them. That's crazy if I did that. Yeah. I don't know. And also, I don't really know if any of these cards are even worth money or anything. Like, I just collect them, man. I'm just a collector. I don't really look up prices a whole lot. I'll look up every now and then someone or someone will comment on a video and tell me. But yeah. Now if you guys see anything really cool or worth a lot, like let me know. Let me know in the comments. These are really cool cards. And uh no, I won't sell them to you or give them to you. These are my personal collection. These will go to my kids someday or I don't know, be in my will or something, I don't know. Yeah. Golly. There's a lot more cards than I remember it being. Oh, that's a really cool for alligator. That's such a... God, he looks so mean. Let's see what else we got. What else? Anything else cool? I think we're getting to like the most like the the newest stuff. Yeah, here we go. Here's the last page. And then let's see. I think these might be the newest cards in the that made it. No, that's 2005. That's 2004. What year is this one? 2005. There's no way. Hold on. Let's go to the promo page again. Where's the promo page at? I think the promo page might have had something like I swear I thought 
I looked the other day, and I remember seeing something from 2015. I thought, maybe, maybe not. Let's see what, what years on these bad boys. 2011 right there. 2011. 2011, really? 2004. 2011. 2005. Who 2011 is the? 2011. 2011. Okay, so the old, the the most recent thing I have here is from 2000. 2011. Okay. And then on the back right here, this is kind of cool. These are just uh, bookmarks. They're all the same bookmark, but they have that cool design. Yeah. And then this is a cool, just like little sticker of the legendary bird trio. My favorite. Big 151 fanboy. You guys know this. And if you're new to the channel, well, now you know. Uh, let's see what else. I don't think there's anything else in there. Oh, I'll show you the back of the binder too, because that, that's actually really cool. All right. So remember, I, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, then you'll know some of the story. And I'll show you this, what this documentation is in a second. Put that over there. Side. I think it's really cool. This is a, a really cool sticker sheet. And then, let's see if I can. This is a. Uh, so apparently. Thank you for responding for offer free Pokemon trading card game booster pack. Unfortunately, we weren't able to fulfill your request because we did not receive the following store register receipt. I don't know what I tried to do. Clearly, I tried to get a free booster pack and didn't do it right. Um, but that's really cool. That's a really cool letterhead. And then this one, this letter right here, uh, I'm not going to open it up for this video, but I'll tell you what's in it. And maybe in another video, I'll open it up and read it and show you guys. But when I was a kid, I entered a contest to get a free Mew for Pokemon Red and Blue. And um, yeah, I actually got it. And this is my certificate of authenticity um, that came with it. I, unfortunately, if you've been following my channel at all, you know that I've told the story a few times, but that Mew got deleted thanks to some kid. Um, we don't need to talk about it, but I will talk about it at some point. But yeah, no, that's my certificate of authenticity. I was allowed to use that Mew in official tournaments that I went to. And uh, it was a good time. People were terrified to play against me. So yeah, that's my vintage collection. Well, if you've made it this far, I appreciate you guys watching and hanging out. And um, like once again, thanks for a thousand subscribers. Um, you guys are awesome. And uh, here's to a thousand more, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I make it that long. Um, but either way, hey, thanks for watching. If you got some extra time on your hands, uh, feel free to click one of my other videos. Uh, but hey, I appreciate you guys. You guys have a good rest of your day.